Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute carrots out of just some scrap wood that you can make for Easter or while you're self-quarantined. One, two, three, come on! I started this project by taking a scrap piece of 2x10 and I made sure that all the nails were out of the board and proceeded to cut long triangles um, alternating my chop saw about 5-7 to seven degrees on the left and then the right and doing that back and forth until I had several triangles cut out of the board. If you're looking for a cleaner look than this rough lumber, you can definitely get a better looking 2x10 at the store. This is just a scrap piece that I had, and I kind of felt like the roughness gave it more character, I guess. Once I had all my carrots cut, it was time to do a good sanding on each one so that there weren't any sharp edges and to avoid any splinters. And then I took each carrot and clamped it to a table for support and using a large drill bit, I just drilled a circular hole in the top of each carrot um, probably just about a fourth of an inch deep is all that you need, um, or a little bit bigger. This is the spot where you're going to hot glue the green raffia so that it looks like the green stems from the carrots. This part is totally optional, but I took my carrots back to the chop saw and I just did a light little chop down into the wood, probably about an eighth of an inch to give it a little bit more characters, some lines to make it look like carrots. Uh, it's something that you can choose to do, you don't have to do. It's just personally how I liked it. Just be careful that you are holding your carrot firmly in place so that you're not doing any kickback or chopping off any fingers. Now it's time to paint and I used a smaller brush to get all of the grooves and then with a foam brush I went over the rest of the carrots. I did both the front and back sides of the carrots and then using this green raffia which I'll link below I kind of took just the length that I wanted my stems to be, folded it in half, cut it and then I did two of these strands for each carrot. Um, with each piece of raffia, I took scissors and I just kind of snipped down the centers of them and spread them out a little bit. And you'll continue to see how I did that and we'll go from there. And the last thing to do was to take the green raffia and with hot glue gun squirt a little bit into that hole, put the raffia inside, squeeze it down in there nice and squishy and tight, and then you're done. You're left with your carrots. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like how these turned out. Really simple project with just some leftover wood and even children can paint it and it's just a good little decoration for Easter. So. 
If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And until next time.